हेलो एवरीवन हियर वी हैव गॉट एन एल्जेब्रेक इक्वेशन विद रेडिकल एक्सप्रेशन टू सॉल्व सो लेट अस सी दैट हाउ डू वी सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन फर्स्ट वी लिनियराइज द गिवन इक्वेशन बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग बोथ द साइड्स बाय सिक्स एंड द इक्वेशन बिकम्स एज थ्री इंटू थ्री एक्स माइनस टू प्लस सिक्स इंटू अंडर रूट टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव एक्स प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू एक्स प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाइंग द पेरेंथिस on the left hand side by 3 and expanding the square term on the right hand side we get the equivalent equation as 9x minus 6 plus 6 under root 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 2x square plus 4x plus 2 and bringing all the terms on the left hand side results in an equivalent equation as minus 2x square plus 5x minus 8 plus 6 under root 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 This equation can also be expressed as minus 2x square plus 5x minus 3 minus 5 plus 6 under root 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. Here minus 8 is expressed as minus 3 minus 5, and we take minus sign common from the first three terms, and the equation is again written as minus 2x square minus 5x plus 3 minus 5. Plus six under root two x square minus five x plus three is equal to zero. In this equivalent equation, it can be observed that the first term in parentheses is same as the term under the square root sign. So here we can make a substitution for this term as two x square minus five x plus three is equal to y square. Using this substitution, the equivalent equation is transformed as minus y square. Minus five plus six y is equal to zero. This equation is multiplied by minus one, and terms are adjusted to give another equation as y square minus six y plus five is equal to zero. This is a quadratic equation in y, and can be solved by the method of factorization. For this, it is written as y square minus five y minus y plus five is equal to zero. Y is taken common from the first two term, and minus one is taken common from the last two terms to get y into y minus five minus y minus five is equal to zero. Y minus five can be taken common from whole of the equation, and the equation becomes y minus five into y minus one is equal to zero, and this gives us two solutions for y, which are y is equal to five and y is equal to one. Now we consider y is equal to five. Which is 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to y square. Substituting the value of y as y is equal to 5 makes it 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 5 square, or it becomes 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 25. Bringing all the terms on the left hand side, we get the equivalent equation as 2x square minus 5x minus 22 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation in x, and the value of x can be given. By the quadratic formula, as x is equal to minus minus five, plus minus under root minus five whole square minus four into two into minus twenty two, divided by two into two, which can be simplified as x is equal to five plus minus under root twenty five plus one seventy six by four. This is further simplified as x is equal to five plus minus under root two not one by four, and this gives us. First two values or first two roots for x as equal to five plus under root two not one by four, and x is equal to five minus under root two not one by four. Now we consider the second value of y, that is y is equal to one, and back substitute it in terms of x, which was two x square minus five x plus three is equal to y square. Putting the value of y as equal to one makes it as two x square minus five x plus three is equal to one is square. Or simply 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 1. Here also bringing all the terms on the left hand side gives us a quadratic equation as 2x square minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0. And the solution of this quadratic equation for x is given as minus minus 5 plus minus under root minus 5 is square minus 4 into 2 into 2 divided by 2 into 2. This can be simplified as x is equal to 5 plus minus under root 25 minus 16 by 4, which is further simplified as x is equal to 5 plus minus root 9 by 4, and this is given as x is equal to 5 plus minus 3 by 4, and this gives us further two values of x as x is equal to 2 and x is equal to half. So the given equation has got four roots. 
and whose values are given as x is equal to 5 plus root 2 not 1 divided by 4 and the second root is x is equal to 5 minus root 2 not 1 by 4 the third root is x is equal to 2 and finally fourth root is x is equal to half it can be verified for the given equation that all these four roots satisfy the given equation and hence these are the solutions of the given equation thanks for watching